away with our lowest prices. Dulux Paint 116.94, Monarch Roller Kit 25.77. Will you find a competitor's lower price on the same stock item? We'll beat it by 15%. Lowest prices are just the beginning. Kia ora team, George here from Touch NZ. Now we all enjoy a bit of touch, but without a proper warm up, the chances of being injured are massively increased. So to keep you on the field and out of the emergency room, Touch NZ have made a short and easy warm up series for all levels, proven to lower the chance of injury by close to 50%. So head on over to our site and check them out. Play safe, play smart. Ete iti, ete rai, ete katoa, tēnā rākau tau katoa, nau mai, huki mai, whakarawika mai, ki tēnei whakapāhotanga, o te rātua toru, o tēnei whakataitai āmotu, a rā, ko te 2024 Bunnings Warehouse National Touch Championships. We are live here from Rotorua, and it's the crunch time. It is the big day, and it is a big game ahead of us. This is the Open Men's semi-final between Bay of Plenty and North Harbour, two of the top teams in the country, Ko Hali Wola Hau, Mawa Ko, Maya Williams, O Koto Kai Whakapaho, O Tēnei Kemu. Maya, we had an amazing first game, the 21 mix semi-final. Now we're back into it. This is the big, big game between two of the best in the country. As we're looking at our notes, absolutely packed with talent. Touch blacks are plenty. What are your thoughts heading into this game? Yeah, two different journeys from these teams. North Harbour being undefeated. I think it was only a draw against Waikato maybe um, that that they didn't win. Um, Bay of Plenty, a loss and a win here and there. Um, it was quite interesting, Bay of Plenty's journey. I think in the last round yesterday, Counties Manuko White um, were second and Bay of Plenty, or, or sorry, well, might have been fourth and Bay of Plenty were fifth. But uh, Counties Manuko Black uh, had a couple, number of their key players not play, which meant that uh, the Bay of Plenty team were able to get over them, not saying they wouldn't have anyway. And that's what uh, got them into the situation. I've been watching the Bay of Plenty team with interest. You look at the, the team, Chauncey Edwardson, Tiwi Davies, uh, Shaq Stone, Sasu Wihapi, Carlos Savage, just to name a few. And I'm waiting for that breakout performance from this team. Um, if they all click together, then it's pretty much game over for any other team and there is one thing about these players they're big time players and this is the big time the big game right now the semi-final so <clears throat> I'm really interested to see if the occasion is what can really break the shackles off this Bay of Plenty team they've obviously played well to get here but probably haven't hit the heights that they are capable of when you when you look at the talent that is in this team I mean it's just uh, stacked I didn't even say Connor Pomatato who was just destroying things in the open men's grade for how long? So it's just a stacked team, and I really hope the occasion just takes them to that next level and they just have a breakout performance against this North Harbour team who just don't look like they're going to be stopped from anyone. That's right, you mentioned stacked. We've had a look at the team list presented to us, but a couple of names that stand out immediately on the paper. George Durban Burgess, Nathan Rollinson, Lance Davids, a couple of Really key players, not just for the Harbour setup within their club setup with Pearl Jam, but also for the Touch Blacks as well. We can see on screen as well our referees for this afternoon's match Ray Kent, Michael Buttery, and Quinn Murphy. Three of the best. Yeah, I hope they let this game flow. I really hope they don't um, try and assert their presence into this game in any other way, shape, or form than keeping these teams a good seven metres apart. A lot of proactive communication so they put out any fires before they become fires and let these two teams with a huge amount of attacking power on both sides. And that's what we want to see. And I'm sure that's what we will see. Great to see Ray Kens out here. A great referee, but even a better human being leading us off. And this is the second of our live stream games at the Bunnings 2024 National Open Championship here in Rotorua, North Harbour now. 
two touches into their work. Already creating a bit of a mismatch as they go on this right-hand side and look to go under. Must have only just got onside there. And there's one of the key players that you talked about already. It's a game of millimetres. Bay of Plenty doing a really good job defensively here. But what we know about Harbour is how quickly they can change tact. And a long ball from Durban Burgess doesn't quite get to the hands of Jackson Ephraims. But they're going to throw all the bag of tricks that they have at Bay of Plenty this afternoon. As we can see, Bay of Plenty moving forward cautiously with the ball. Don't want to cause any errors. Ball retention very key. We can see a strong drive there from Carlos Savage. Good set so far from Bay of Plenty. One to go on this one. Davies. Oh, it's down for a touchdown. I thought there might have been a touch. You can hear in the how concert, Harley. The Bay of Plenty team love it. It's sort of, I don't know what it was here. We, we just see this pass out to Tiwi Davis using his gas to get through. I thought this was a touch by Robertson. I didn't see Tiwi put the ball down so he got in the corner. 1 0. Bay of Plenty up against North Harbour. Full of talent, Landon Monks off the pick there, number 14 for the Bay of Plenty, keep an eye on him and the pace he can inject into this game. Back on the seven metres now, Lance David looking back inside. The argument coming from the Bay of Plenty, but the touch was called first. Toby Snellgrove now to play the ball. Floats the ball over the top, but great response defensively. My, this feels like, a, feels like a, watching a tennis match. Just watching these Harbour players, they sprinting left, step off their left, and they're off their right. It's like bang, bang. You just, I feel sorry for the refs having to try and keep up and anticipate which way they're going to go. I still remember a game, uh, Punawai, the finals, open men's down in Christchurch. The Harbour team, I'd just never seen anything like it. It was just absolute pleasure to watch them but they have plenty Shaq Stone Ooh. Ray Cairns needs to send himself off or no arms in the tackle <laughs> we can see Harbour now moving forward always very very strong getting the ball up the field mm, but angle plant so crucial to get those key processes correct making sure that those feet are facing towards their try line you don't want to be planting the ball on an angle Sharp eyes there from our referee, Michael Buttery. I don't want to jinx him, but I really like the way Michael Buttery referees. He's very pro-game. Physically, he's always in the right position. He's an absolute athlete, proactive with his communication, and never dominates the game. I like what he does. You see him here talking to North Harbour players forward. Now by a plenty with Davis, looking to go long. No, ooh, thought he snuck through again. Yeah, really like the way he referees this young man. He's got so much experience for such a young referee. Quick ball back, looks for the follow. Oh, this is unbelievable, this touch. We ain't seen anything like this over the last two days, Harley. We had a cracker of a first live stream game this morning, and this has just taken it to a new level. Very different game to the last one that we had. Very technical. I'm so far very impressed. This player here, Ezra Morgan Tafia, has been an absolute beast defensively. A real leader for the Harbour team despite his young age. Shiloh Flavel now pushing forward. Let's see if they can get him into a good position to score here. Oh, board. Board and it looks down. like oh. it looks like it might be a forward pass. Oh, yep. The only way that that couldn't have been a touchdown. Seen a lot of these forward passes called from the blind side sideline referee, which I know a few years ago when I was refereeing, we were always coached that it was the open side referee that could support that call of forward pass or not. However, Bay of Plenty get away with one there, back into their work. Connor now gets the ball back. Mm. Just another area here from Bay of Plenty. It must be another forward. Touch and pass. Here's the call. Can't say I saw that. However, Bay of Plenty got one. Now Harbour have one. Look at the speed of this Harbour team. Just the Rolls Royce running down to the other end. The agility is just crazy. 
been so precise with their movements. They know exactly the spots they want to get to. Tamahawka now with the ball. Space opening in the middle. But not quite to hand. And a forward pass to finish the set here. They have plenty. have had a great start. Both teams have been able to get across the line. They lead 1-0. Led by skipper Chauncey Edwardson. Look at this. Now we talk about the Bay of Plenty just rumbling up into the attacking half. Unfortunately slowed things down there. Made it difficult for the number 12. Late cut. Shaq looks to tip it on. He's an incredible player, isn't he? He's one of those people that people go to watch. Like, you go around the crowds and you hear the, just the young kids, uh, the, the old kids, everyone. They just love the way he plays. He just does things that you don't see and most people can't. I saw a post. This is his 12th year playing open men's. And to be able to produce for such a long time at this level shows how well tuned he is as an athlete. Daniel Nickel now with the ball in hand. But great, really strong forward motion from the Bay Plenty on defense there. They're getting back on side. They're moving forward. They're throwing everything they can. Oy. And a slight little forward pass. And the referees are right on site there to pick that one up. Just a timing issue from the Bay of Plenty. You can see as they're coming into the sub box. We mentioned how quick and fast the last game was. I think this one stepped up another level. Yeah, just a little bit of lack of concentration there from the man we are talking about earlier. It's a scary sight when this Harbour team get a full set down your defensive end. Just getting to the right spots. Fourth touch, two to go. Haven't really thrown much at Bayer Plenty. Yeah, really good set of defence from Bay, but I'm not sure the Harbour team threw too much at them there, Harley. They haven't really been able to get the platform that they wanted since the start of the game. Full credit again. Bay of Plenty working well together defensively, not giving up anything too easily. And equally, to me, it feels like they are certainly winning this middle part of the field, which is very unexpected. Unexpected, very much so. Pama to toe now. Oh, beautiful late cut pass. Had to shut it down. Did the two from Harbour to a con oh, sorry, Flevel. I, I made the comment earlier. I just seen someone else, Jamin Ormsby, pop into my vision. Didn't even see his name down on the list again. Another top player for so long. Waikato. This team is stacked, this Bay of Plenty team. I see it about the occasion, and it really looks like Bay of Plenty have risen to the occasion. Obviously, in their home patch here in Rotorua, the crowd, the biggest it's been in the three days. Majority here sporting this Bay of Plenty team. I no my to tini mete mano. And there it is. We speak about the Red Sea parting. North Harbour caught flat-footed. Tome Puna scores a great try for Bay Plenty. We'll see here. Bunnings Warehouse replay. Just a great little show there from Chauncey Edwardson. Hands on hips too from the Harbour defence. They didn't know which way the ball was going. The sleight of hand. Bay of Plenty too. Real North Harbour, no. Edwardson, what a leader for this team. He's really dragged them into this semi-final. Here's Chauncey Edwardson. Harbour, though, straight into it. Go short side, back to the middle. Just talk about that agility. What do we see here? The two steps are taken back. Points to the spot and awards the try. Lance Davids here with the dive in between two defenders. Re referee Kens said, leave it to me. I've got it, as we see here. In the replay, gets a quickie, straight pass back, ball down before the touch is made. We'll see it even better from this angle. Just a quick pass back to that spot. Strong case to be made for the defender. Referee in perfect position. That's Harley. right. Could not get any more perfect. But Bayer putting it straight back into the attack with Davis. Tiwi Davies. Ooh, intercept, shut down quickly. Savage throwing that intercept, unfortunately. Oh, this is where Harbour are dangerous. When you haven't got your defence set and they're just running it down your throat. Look at those nice big seven metres. 
Great job so far from our referee team to keep these two teams apart. Ooh. I don't see what that come off, Harley. Was that off a hand or the head? Yes, I think it was off the hand. Number 12, Tommy Puna just putting a hand out as the pass was in flight. So North Harbour will get a fresh set on their seven metres. While the transition and getting players onto the field has been really good for Harper, just trying to get the right players with the ball in hand, I think, is the next step for them if they want to look to score again. And it looks like Tamatea Winiana was just caught at the right time there by Bay of Plenty. I thought that was a touchdown. That one, that was close. Good hustle from the Bay of Plenty defender. Another and intercept. Looks like the referee's calling them back for something. Yes, the ball was caught there on an intercept from the Bay of Plenty winger, but the touch was caught just as he secured the ball. We might see here on the Bunnings Warehouse replay. Pass off the run? Yeah, yeah, it does look slightly forward. forward. Such a coach killer when you see those ones pulled up during the middle of the field, but not down the attacking end. It'd almost big to say that they have more of an impact down at that end. However, they didn't get away with it. Bay of Plenty now on a lovely pass. Just to get on the outside of Rollison. Seven on, unfortunately, for Bay of Plenty. North Harbour making sure that if they didn't know, they were there to help them out. Yeah, just incorrect subbing there, Harley, by the Bay of Plenty team, having seven players on. We saw on that play as well, Bay of Plenty going away from their box. Perhaps it caused a bit of confusion as they were substituting players staying on the field a little bit too long. Six players is all we need on the field, and that's the requirement. North Harbour get an opportunity that they'll cherish to try and even up the scoreboard here. We now just see some strong touches coming in here. Nice little adjustment of the hand there. Looks like fourth touch, two to go. Shiloh Flavel now on the ball. He's the player. He's, he's the one I think North Harbour will want to try and get involved here on this play. Little bat back inside by Nyan Tachi, but unfortunately, the first pass was forward. I'm surprised Rollison hasn't had his, has been more dominant on the ball. He's he's an absolutely incredible player. Maybe he's trying to get the others into this game before he exerts his dominance here. Good, strong roll ball there by Edwardson. Again, just strong work. Through the middle of the field. Bay Plenty in a good position. All here now. There's some space in front of him if he can maximise it. <laughs> this is a real battle, isn't it, Harley? Oh, what's going on here? What was that? A delay. I think the referee had asked. That's what I was talking about. There's just some calls I don't think need to be made. In a game like this, when you've got that much talent, let them be the show. Ha, they have plenty now with a great opportunity. Oh, excellent lift. Didn't quite get the number. Looks like it might have been. I think it was Shiloh Flavel, that one. Flavel, doing it at both ends. Rolling for sure. We can see a lot of action taking place in this seven metre space. On that play there, Lance Savage just getting caught up in the ruck, not quite able to get two feet to the line at the same time. Penalty comes for offside. Here, yeah, referee Ken's proactive communication. What a step off his right foot. Perfect positioning again. Ray must have paid all these guys to try and score touchdowns at his feet because that's where <laughs> he always seems to be. Shaq now comes off the peel. Davies around the back. Short ball. Ooh, little flick on would have been interesting. Great touch there. Again, Flavel. The link for North Harbour. Reads are perfect so far. Again, back to play. Do they fake that side? Come left. Look for a late cut. Tip on from Shaq again. Some really strong defensive adjustments have been made from North Harbour on that right side. We've seen Shiloh Flavel 
anticipate and know, hey, I've got to get up a little bit higher, take that opportunity away from the bay. They're shifting off to their, their man really well, and Bay of Plenty are struggling now to try and crack through that defense. And this is the type of oh, yardage that we want to see. Great ruck. Cameron, tidy up. Look at the speed. North Harbour out the back door. Looks like they might have numbers. Gets the board down. That's the North Harbour we're used to. Just from one end to the other, the way they come in from the box. They keep the momentum going. There's just no let up. The defence from Bay of Plenty just couldn't handle the speed, the directness of this attack from North Harbour and the agility and skill to reach around a defender, plant it down, North Harbour. There you are. That is the North Harbour we've come to be accustomed to too all, Harley. That's correct. Excellent execution there from North Harbour. Bay of Plenty now looking to try and figure out this defence. Tome Puna now. Dan Nicol able to step up and take that one away from him. Oh, on the spot again. Looks like a really tight decision. Great work there from Bay of Plenty. Two contrasting games again. One going around the outside. Bay of Plenty very much looking to hit back in the centre. I think this is just a 32 play. We see the skipper go short. Oh, great call, Kens. Link defender missing the touch. Ball down. He liked that one too. Kick of celebration. And again, we saw Edwardson, the key orchestrator on that play. And a great defensive effort there. I think from Shaq Stone. Came in to make the touch and the ball went to ground. So a couple of big wins in that last sequence of plays for Bay of Plenty. Look to see if they get Landon Monks involved here. Here he is. No, that's six touch. I agree with the referee yep. here. Bay of Plenty yep. are complaining about the touch count. That was correct. Good to see you off the fence for the first time this morning. <laughs> yep, the young man won't get that wrong. Good quality about him being, again, a really fit young athlete. Means he gets a good seven metres for the teams. Does Quinn Murphy. All three of these guys doing a great job of that. Last touch now for North Harbour. They've gone to this play a lot. Just a passive play out the back. They're unbelievably quick, aren't they? Oh, everyone in this North Harbour team must be a 100-metre sprinter. The way they come on, they set that up every time. Just a, out the back. Unfortunately, their quickness possibly to their detriment. He just ran out of space there. But again, we'll look to see if they go back to that yardage play. And it looks like a penalty awarded to Bay Plenty for in the ruck. Disrupted the play of the ball there. Sure. Didn't quite see that one myself. I mean, technically the player was in the ruck. Whether there was any disruption, not sure. Again, I am just know that there's probably some penalties we can pocket with a game like this. Let these teams battle it out. This is more like an origin. Stay out of the road. Keep them seven metres apart mm. and just enjoy the talent that is on display. A one-handed intercept catch. We don't see that very often. Zero touch coming from that. And, of course, when you have a seven-touch set, that's like gold for North Harbour as they work towards the other end of the field. But plenty need to be careful. They started to roll in the set. This is where we're going to see, I think, the same play. Robinson now with his speed. Touch not made. <laughs> They're just too quick, this North Harbour team. You can't afford to be backpedaling when they're coming at you because they'll just get on the outside and you just can't keep up. So we've seen Bay of Plenty lose the second touch and from there on out they just couldn't get back, couldn't get set. And Robinson with his speed ties things up for North Harbour. The momentum, momentum has certainly shifted back towards North Harbour with regards to the middle part of that field. We're back at 3 all, just about to enter into half time. Be very interesting to see what the discussion looks like for the coaches. One or two touches left for this Bay of Plenty team. They need to get this ball down. They probably won't get a set dump. 
No, no they won't. Connor now, what will he do with his footwork? That's going to get numbers. Hey. Shaq, it's on the outside. No touch made. Not only is he a great ball player, but has the speed to get through. What a way to finish this first half. We just see Connor dragging, dragging in the middle defender. Late cut there with Shaq, and he just uses his gas to get on the outside. Touchdown. Perfect time to touchdown for Bad Plenty. 4-3, take a 1-0 touchdown lead into this first half. Be back for what I'm sure is going to be a more exciting second half in this men's open semi-final. Fresh coat of paint can go a long way. Four litre easy coat interior paint, 9158. Sally's one litre professional sugar soap, 561. Where you find a competitor's lower price in the same stock item will beat it by 15%. Lowest prices are just the beginning. Kia ora touch whanau. Welcome to Quick Hit, your short, sharp and touch relevant warm up with the aim of warming up and moving those important body parts before kicking into activity. The quick hit warm-up requires minimal space, minimal time, and allows for innovation. Home Ground Heroes is back, and this year, I've got a new recruit. Kia ora touch whanau, it's time to nominate the unsung volunteers who put the mahi in for the sport we love. Enter them now for the chance to win $5,000 for their touch community. Piki ake kake ake mai koutou katoa. Kei tino ho mātou i te pai wehe is half time here 2024 National Touch Championship. This is the Open Men's Semi-Final between North Harbour and Bay of Plenty. It's do or die for both teams. Both are hunting the victory they want to taste success, not just in the semi final, but of course in the big dance to come later on this afternoon. Open men's final. Stay tuned, of course, four o'clock. Kowai Kahua, Kowai Katohu, Kowai Kabuki Tori. Though. We're just going to have a look at. A few of the highlights from the first half. See here, Davies just getting on the outside. It was a little bit of knock, uh, innocuous as to whether it was down or not. But again, got the speed. Harbour hit back soon after. Very, very close decision. We see referee Kings there right on the mark. Harbour now, again, if we look at their second of their touchdowns, just using their gas. This happened a number of times. Late in this first half, just getting on the outside of defenders. So good first half there from both teams. So get back into our live action. Bay of Plenty tapping us off in the second half of the second live stream game. Stone throws an intercept and lights out. There's no way anyone's catching the number 10, Davids, from North Harbour. Even Quinn was as fast as he is. <laughs> Still had to catch up 20 metres. Fortunate way to start for Bay of Plenty. Definitely not what they would have wanted to do. Took a, a, a lot of their comms, um, Harley, in that first half was around their defence. And um, the comms that needed to come from outside in so that they were making sure they're shutting down things. You can't plan for this. Just an opportunistic play for North Harbour. Even things up, Harley. And freakish athleticism, just like that, to get off the line, snatch the intercept and sprint away. 65 plus metres. Not many players would be able to catch Lance Davids on a full runaway. They have plenty now. Hot on attack. Come out to this right side. Last touchdown. They probably want to keep it here on the short side. Good place to give it away if you're not going to score. You can hear the energy, can't we, Harley, of this Bay of Plenty box that we're situated behind. I'm looking forward to seeing how the intensity picks up in the second half. We've already had some amazing touch in the first half. A few bodies on the ground too in the process. And it looks like an attacking penalty that 
the player that had the ball and played the ball actually took the defender out. So an interesting call there from referee Buttery. Bay Plenty now in position to respond. Always talked with our referee groups when doing these high-level games. As the players' emotions rise, ours needs to go lower in terms of just staying calm. Really lift out communication proactively as we see Stone now on the ball. Footwork, looking for a phase play. I hope they pulled out of that one legally. Setting things up, 32 platform. Six touch, great work there from North Harbour. The Bay Plenty have definitely lifted. This is their best performance for, for mind over this whole tournament. Um, they're really putting it to this North Harbour team. Certainly not scared this area of the field for North Harbour. They had some errors earlier on in this first half, but trying to get a little bit clunky that last set there from North Harbour. Not quite the platform that they want to launch from to get their fifth touch and strike options from. And again, the game just starting to fall into some static patches here. Look to see if these fresh legs can inject some pace. Good lift there from Morgan Tafia. What a battle, Harley. We just see defensively, attackingly, throwing everything at each other's Harbour defence. What a set. Only been able to travel 30 metres were Bay of Plenty. And now they've earned themselves a team, North Harbour, the Bay of Plenty player. Just slowing down the roll ball. I like this from Ken's here. He's now done two sets in a row. Could have got an interchange. He knows. Not that he needs to keep a lid on this game, but he just needs to go back, role model for our other two referees. Just need to keep these teams apart. Great leadership there from referee Ken's. Harbour, though, looking to go down this right-hand side. Well covered from Bay of Plenty. The defence is sort of what's been winning the second half so far, Harley, from both teams. Crucial, neither of them want to give away anything too easily. No easy penalties, no missed touches. They're working hard together. Courage on the first touch, just throw that long ball. We see Stone again, can do it all. Yards, D, attack. Oh, that's a killer, that one, unfortunately. Look at this defence, Harley, again. Bay of Plenty, only being able to get to the 10 metre line. And now we see Bay of Plenty lifting up nice and high. Robertson being able to use his speed. Good touch there by Monks. Big energy and effort required here from Bay of Plenty to stop North Harbour. Can anyone match up? It's the two brothers there. D. Urban Burgess too. D. Urban Burgess to cross... The try line for North Harbour's fifth try. We'll take another look on the Bunnings Warehouse replay. Just manages to slice through the defence there. Patient enough to wait for a teammate to connect with. A bit of gamesmanship behind there by the Bay of Plenty player. Probably actually to their detriment, however. That's two touchdowns in the second half for North Harbour. They now take the lead 1-0 against Bay of Plenty. I think the first time North Harbour in the lead. 15 minutes to go, however. As Harley said, now first game, these games are 20 minutes each way. Yes, we did have 15 minutes each way for day one and two. But these finals, 20 minutes each way. Here's the captain. Edwardson pumped along, went to the link channel. Unfortunately, the Bay of Plenty player wasn't there. Just a collision off the ball there. Getting up a little bit gingerly there is Davids. One way to stop him from doing a full length intercept there, Harley. And he shakes it off as he walks towards the sub box. Strong position. Rocking forward here from North Harbour. Oh, no way. Did that come off his boot? <laughs> yeah, it did. Impressive skills there from Sasu Wehapi. What a play. One hand, one bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. After what was great work there from Wehapi. We get to see it here. Gets in the lane. Love to know if this come off his boot. Tips it, he does. Yes. Talk about using your head. He used his boot. 
North Harbour now, though, back on the attacking score line. Oh, yep, that was probably the easiest uh, in the ruck call. Referee butter he's ever had to make. Stone, obviously, thinking the team was under pressure, wanted to give them an opportunity to reset, get their line intact, get their gates, the spacing they need them to be. What I like, too, about that play is North Harbour knew they got the penalty. Then they bring on their guns. We can see Lance Davids back here on the ball, teaming up with Durban Burgess and Flavel. I think just a face play is going to really catch by a plenty out here. Agreed. So we see them rushing in to the middle. Be almost impossible to get back out. That's the speed. Dust every time. It's almost should be a rule against someone being that fast and that good. It's, it's almost unstoppable. You almost have to have a defender behind the touching defender just to prevent this from happening. It's timing onto the ball. The ball off the ground so quickly and we just see his pace combined with his length. Three touchdowns to North Harbour in the second half. Total momentum with the North Harbour team. And different types of tries as well. So very different to how the first half was going. Adjustments made by North Harbour on attack have been really well met. But it looks like a big touch call there from Nyan Tachi. But yes, he's done enough to meet the task and stop a certain try for the Bay of Plenty there. Last touch now. And another great pickup. The hands in this game are incredible. So's the speed. The number 11, Tawira Ohia. Great chase down. Bad plenty, though, on the back foot. They've only just got six on. Third touch, Harbour. Need a stop here, Bad plenty. We see the exact same move. Oh, excellent work. And that was intentional from Chauncey Edwardson. It wasn't a fluke that he hit that backwards to one of his players. Just that experience. Ooh, got away with one there. I don't think they deserve to have that roll ball. It was a weak carry. You take the ones you can. Stone now. Key player. I wonder if this will be a bounce out. Looks oh. Just the timing on that pass of the release to the link. Not quite what Bay Plenty wanted in terms of trying to get across that try line again. Big looping pass as they look to move to their sub box. Really hard play to defend what North Harbour are doing down the other end. Just having the wraparound play off a 33 dump and just their timing is just elite almost making it impossible for the touching defender and the shutting defender to stop it. Needing to play to the whistle there. Bay of Plenty asking for a call. Could have just simply made the touch. However, North Harbour did play. We see here, I think Bay of Plenty were after a forward pass or a touch and pass. Oh, you can see why they wanted that. It was clearly a touch and pass. However... Play to the whistle, isn't it, Harley? First thing you're taught when you play sport, Nelly? Certainly doesn't matter what the code is. We see now Bay of Plenty very eager to strike back. It's been a four-try turnaround in favour of North Harbour so far. Very strong second half. And they've been given a penalty here. What a turnaround with that pass not quite getting the shack in that previous set for Bay of Plenty and then North Harbour going straight back down and scoring. Yep, not going to go through the middle of this North Harbour defence. They look significantly more connected in the second half than they did in the first. And saying that, however, it seems to be hard to go around them as well. So we see Davies. Just a great lift again from the North Harbour defenders. On their right side, Lance Davids having, we know he's a very good attacker, but equally a very strong defender. Great knowledge of the game. The IQ... Again in this game, unmatched. Sort of just taking a bit of a sting out of it, hasn't it, Harley? The three-touchdown lead, that oh, pace again. You just can't 
coach something. Looks like a foot may have been planted out on the right-hand side. I'd love to see the replay of this one. Ball must have been down first. It's just the pace. That, was, that wasn't a move. That's just absolute gas and timing onto it. As we see North Harbour, this is the play they ran in the first half. They're substitutes coming on from the box, wrapping around to the far side. See here, too much time. Yep, easy down. Well done, North Harbour. Now out to a four-touchdown lead against the spirited Bay of Plenty team. And I have no doubt, seven minutes, plenty enough time. Again, you look at the names. Pomatato, Savage. Oh, Unlucky there, Tawara all here, just sliding underneath. Yeah, hard one to swallow too when the referee's not right in front of it and you're a player, you look up. Talk about that credibility in terms of proximity, but here's a skipper now. You look to go back that left-hand side again. Great pluck out of the air, though. Zero touch, is it? Zero touch, that's correct. And we know every time zero touches happen, it can be the difference of another 10 metres, especially to a team as talented as North Harbour. Big yards here from Tamatia Wiriana. Here comes the strike play. Durban Burgess again. Very similar play to how they scored their first try in the second half. Just a pick. Runs on the outside of the left defender from the Bay of Plenty. Just textbook stuff again. You're running them off the park. It's not about effort. It's just about speed. And this North Harbour team are electric. I would say seven of their nine tries have just simply come from a foot race where they've won it, getting on the outside of the defender. We know equally they've got players that can dive, that can do all the fancy stuff as well, but you don't have to reach into your bag of tricks if you can do the, the, the basics really well, like run hard, ruck hard, and time your passes really well. See it here too, just the way they get themselves down to the other end, to speed onto the ball for the fourth touch again, just the whole Bay of Penny team back pedal, back pedal, back pedal already on the outside I thought that was potentially the sixth touch as we see a drop ball there now though, the speed's incredible isn't it, it's just absolutely incredible their speed, it's amazing what North Harbour are doing. And to increase the speed and intensity so late in the game. Shows also how fit they are and how much they want this. They have plenty still looking to close that gap. Never say never. Penalty though for Bay Plenty. Seem to have lost Lost their connection on the attack. What looked so, I guess, uh, clinical in the first half. Just really hasn't been there in the second half. We've seen phases where Bay Plenty have kind of just gone through processes of looking, particularly to push the ball and try and score from a link position, which hasn't always been on, but in this occasion it was. An excellent try off a quickie here from Shaq Stone. Exactly what Bay of Plenty would have wanted. We can have a look here at Bunnings Warehouse replay. Great low position. Gets a great position on Flavel. He wins the rock for certain in that one. Slides underneath. Harbour just a little bit too slow to respond and stop that one. Four minutes, four touchdowns down. Unlikely but not out of the question. It's probably almost an advantage here. Harbour starting from halfway so they don't get a run into it. <laughs> they get to put you on the back foot like we've seen for the previous few tries. Need to stay tight here with the 14. Oh, close touch. You can see that gap appearing as Tiwi pulled his corner. Just wondered if the gate was too big from the saving players. Good hustle though from Bayer Plenty. They'll easily get three sets, Bayer Plenty. In the remainder of this game. Not sure about four. North Harbour now just lifting. They want to take that space away from Bay of Plenty and any opportunity to get easy metres. Been a real strength for them. 
And the ball just comes free. Good call. You've seen what happened. These three referees in the second half have just kept these two teams apart. The seven metres has been fantastic spacing, and we've seen the number of touchdowns in the second half and the quality. Just another little error there, a forward pass from the ruck. This is Tuakana Hudson with the ball. We haven't seen too much of him in this game. Going short side, trying to catch the winger, trying to beat him back to the line. Just two minutes remaining. Wraparound play from Stone. Look to release back quickly. The defense didn't bite. They've been pretty good on Stone. Really hard play to shut down. We talked about how talented he is. Just like watching this Harbour team through this orange zone, Harley. This and that's true. The best part of live stream is whew, how much you can learn, whether you're a, a player, even as a referee or a commentator, from seeing some of the best in action. And, of course, make sure you stay tuned. Right after this, we've got more finals actions as they kick in. Open mix coming up next. 21 mix to follow. And then later on, of course, Open Women's and Open Men's Finals. It looks like we'll see North Harbour progressing on to the big dance. Stay tuned, 4 o'clock for that one. Better set here from Bay of Plenty. Just the lob over. Couldn't quite go to hand. Absolutely not giving up. Harbour, though, repelled them again. Bay of Plenty only been able to score one touchdown in the 19 minutes that have passed so far in the second half. Not only has Harbour's attack just really gone to a new level, but the defence has too. Took the energy out of this Bay of Plenty team and they got four in a row. See them here again going to that right-hand side. Just looking to mirror other Bay of Plenty defence. Pretty good defence there from Bay of Plenty that time. Desperate times, desperate measures. Although the clock is against them, they'll still push forward and See if they can sneak one more try in. Never an easy task against a strong North Harbour side. Ten seconds left to go. They'll just look to play this one out from here. One last penalty for the game. Well done, North Harbour. Great work, both teams. Super exciting battle in that first half. Where Bay of Plenty finished 4 3, but North Harbour just went to a different level, clicked into a different gear, took this game away from Bay of Plenty. Well done on both teams getting to the semi final. Congratulations, North Harbour. They'll be in the last game of the day, the sixth of our live stream games in the final. Up against two, we're not sure yet. Be back with us again for the third of our live stream games in the first of our finals, the Open Mixed. See you then. <laughs>